This is Connie Belden, and let's talk about marginal propensity to consume, MPC. This is defined as the change in consumption expenditures, how much we spend, divided by the change in disposable income, how much income we have after taxes. Assume the change in consumption increases from $3,600 to $4,300, or by $700. Assume disposable personal income also rose from $3,000 to $4,000, or an increase of $1,000. So as the formula defines, we want to take the change in consumption expenditures. So $4,300 minus $3,600, that's $700 increase in consumption expenditures, divided by the change in disposable income. It went from $4,000 to $3,000. So again, disposable income went up by 1,000. So 700 divided by 1,000 is 0.7. So therefore, that means the consumer spent 70 cents of every after-tax dollar on consumer goods and services. So what about that other 30 cents of that after-tax dollar? Well, that is our marginal propensity to save. And the easiest way then to calculate that is to take 1 minus your marginal propensity to consume. So 1 minus 0.7 from above equals 0.3. So therefore, we are spending 70 cents of every after-tax dollar, but that also means the consumer is saving 30 cents of every after-tax dollar. OK, let's think outside the box on this one. What if taxes increase by 300? What effect would that have on consumer expenditures? Well, you could probably guess if you have to pay more taxes, you have less to spend. But by how much? Well, we'll take that 70%, our MPC, multiply it times the increase in taxes of 300, and consumer spending would actually go down by $210. Okay, let's take a look at one last thing, the break-even level of disposable income. What does that mean? The break-even level of disposable income occurs when all income is spent and savings is zero. So we spend 100%. So let's assume DPI is disposable personal income. MPC is marginal propensity to consume. And AC is autonomous consumption. Now, what is autonomous consumption? That is the minimum level of consumption that would still exist even if a consumer had absolutely no income. Well, you may be wondering, how can somebody spend if they have no income? Well, they may have to borrow or use savings, but they still have to buy the day-to-day -day necessities, bread, milk, etc. So let's use the following formula. Okay, and assume that MPC is 0.75, autonomous consumption is 3,000, and what would be the break-even level of disposable income? Well, let's put it into our formula. So DPI equals, I'll put 3,000 in for AC, plus 0.75 for the MPC, and again, times DPI. So this is like one DPI. This is like 0.75 DPI. So the first thing I'm going to do mathematically is take 0.75 DPI away from each side. So 1 minus 0.75 leaves me with 0.25 DPI. And then I still have 3,000. I will now take that 3,000 and divide it by 0.25. So all I'm left with is DPI. So 3,000 divided by 0.25 leaves me with a break-even level of $12,000. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps you out with your homework.